The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the ominous highway as we drove into the heart of nowhere. The air was thick with the scent of pine trees, and I could feel the anticipation as my friends and I went on a much needed road trip. As we cruised down the winding road, laughter filled the air. It mingled with the hum of the engine and the soft tunes of the music playing on the radio. But as the miles stretched on, a sense of unease washed over my body like ocean waves. The road seemed to stretch on endlessly, disappearing into the darkness ahead. The towering trees surrounded every curve of the road, their branches reaching out like gnarled fingers. I couldn't shake the feeling that we were being watched, that something sinister lurked just beyond the tree line. The further we drove, the more the atmosphere seemed to change. The air grew colder, chilling me to the bone, despite the heat of the car's air conditioning being on. The scent of pine gave way to something foul and rotten, a sickly sweet odor that made my stomach twist. My friends seemed oblivious to the change, lost in their own conversations and laughter. But I couldn't shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at me from within. It was as if the very air around us was alive with malevolence, waiting to strike at any moment. And then, without warning, disaster struck. The engine sputtered and died, leaving us stranded in the middle of nowhere. Panic surged within me as I frantically tried to restart the car, but it was no use. We were alone, at the mercy of whatever lurked in the darkness outside. As the minutes stretched into hours, fear took hold of us like a vice. The darkness seemed to press in around us, suffocating us with its oppressive weight. Every sound was amplified, every rustle of the leaves or distant howl of a wolf sending shivers down our spines. I glanced out the window, my heart skipping a beat as I thought I saw something move in the shadows. My friends laughed it off as my paranoia, but I couldn't shake the feeling that we were not alone out here. With no other choice, we decided to abandon the car and seek help on foot. We grabbed our luggage and set out down the dark road, our footsteps echoing in the silence of the night. The road stretched out before us, a winding ribbon disappearing into the unknown. As we walked, the sense of dread only intensified. The trees seemed to lean in closer, their twisted branches casting eerie shadows on the ground. I felt as though we were walking through a nightmare, each step taking us further into the heart of darkness. And then, just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, we stumbled upon it. An old, abandoned house stood before us, its windows shattered and its walls crumbling with poor structure. The air around it was thick with the stench of must and funkiness, a putrid odor that made me gag. My friends urged caution, but the fact we had no shelter made me carry on. We crept through the doorway, our footsteps echoing in the empty halls. The house was silent, broken only by the sound of our breathing. As we explored further, we discovered evidence of something sinister lurking within the walls. Strange symbols written on the walls, their meaning lost to time. And in the basement, we found something that made our blood run cold. Bones littered the floor, human remains stripped clean of flesh. My friends recoiled in horror, but I couldn't tear my eyes away. It was as if we had stumbled upon the lair of something evil, something that had been lurking in this house very recently. A crazy old woman sat in the corner, her eyes wild and unfocused. She muttered to herself incoherently, her words a jumble of madness and despair. With a shriek that pierced the silence like a knife, the old woman lunged at us, her gnarled hands clawing at the air. We fled in terror, the sound of her maniacal laughter echoing in our ears as we raced into the night. We never looked back as we ran and as we finally reached the safety of civilization, I knew that we had been forever changed by our encounter with the unknown. For out there, in the darkness of the night, there are horrors beyond imagination, waiting to prey on unsuspecting souls like ours.